Hello friends, welcome to the channel Solution. Today in this video, we will tell you about the adsorption and absorption process with practical demonstration. Means with live practical example, we will explain you the basic difference between adsorption and absorption process. This video is also available in Hindi explanation. Link is given in the description box. So let's start. Mostly the people get confused between the adsorption and absorption since both the words sounds almost similar but both the process are totally different. And if we talk about the spelling then in the adsorption it is AD and in the word absorption it is AB. So first of all let's know about the adsorption process. Adsorption means when the particles of one substance adsorb adsorb means stick to the surface of another substance then this process is known as adsorption means the particles do not enter inside the other substance they remain on the surface of it then the process is called adsorption so basically adsorption occur when the ions atoms or the molecules of any gas or liquid or dissolved solid adhere to the surface of a solid substance then this process is called adsorption means adsorption is a surface phenomenon and the substance on the surface of which adsorption process takes place is called adsorbent means adsorbent are finely divided solid particles means these are the fine powders for example silica gel activated charcoals and these are the example of adsorbents means this substance adsorb or you can say stick the ions atoms or the molecules of any gas liquid or dissolved solid on its surface and the molecules which get stick or you can say adsorb onto the surface of adsorbent is called adsorbate so through the animation process we are demonstrating the adsorption process to understand it more clearly in the left side you can see a black particles suppose this black particle is activated charcoal and the red particle is the dissolved red pigment of other substance so here you can see that how the activated charcoal adsorb the red particles on its surface is here the red particle stick on the surface of activated charcoal so this process is called adsorption means here red particle do not enter inside the activated charcoal but remain on its surface and here activated charcoal on which adsorption process takes place is called adsorbent and the red particles which stick your or you can say adsorb onto the surface of activated charcoal is called adsorbate so now again here we have demonstrated the adsorption process with live practical example here you can see that this is a wood charcoal which is prepared by burning the wood in high temperature and next here you can see this is the wood charcoal again which is converted or you can say break down into the large particles this charcoal is called activated charcoal next you can see that again we have converted this large particle of wood charcoal into the fine powder so for the experiment we are using this fine powder of activated charcoal because finely divided solid particles have large surface area and due to the increase in the surface area large number of the molecules get adsorbed on its surface this activated charcoal is used for many purpose like in lab it is used in extraction process to remove the impurities of color pigment from the extract it is also used for the purification especially water purification and most of the water filter which we use in our home consists of the activated charcoal to purify the water and if any solution containing dissolved impurities, the impurities of coloring pigment, so this activated charcoal is used to clear the solution or you can say to purify the solution by adsorbing the impurities on its surface. This activated charcoal is also used in the case of poison intake by any person. Means this activated charcoal is used immediately to adsorb the poison in the stomach to prevent the absorption of poison in the blood means to prevent its entry into the bloodstream so here we have taken water in a beaker now we are adding impurities of dissolved solid means here red color solution into the water here we have added few drops of red solution in the water 
or you can say suppose this red solution is poison after adding few drops of red color solution then mix it properly with the help of glass rod now this liquid means this water become impure containing impurities of red pigment or you can say red solution here you can see that the red solution is completely get dissolved in the water and the water become now red color solution now if we have to purify this water means if you have to remove the red solution impurities from the water means if we want to clear the water again means to purify the water for doing this we have to add the activated charcoal as we have told you that the activated charcoal is used as adsorbent so here we have added 1 teaspoon of activated charcoal so here we have added 1 teaspoon of the activated charcoal in the impure water and then again mix it with the help of glass rod now filter this liquid for the filtration here we have taken filter paper in the funnel transfer the liquid in the funnel for filtration after filtration you can see that the liquid means the filtrate which is coming out from the funnel means the water is collecting in the beaker placed below the funnel tip here you can see that the water which is collecting in the beaker is completely clear means transparent means it is not red in color and here you can see the liquid which is present in the funnel is completely black in color but after filtration the filtrate means the liquid coming out is clear colorless mint is this a pure water so how this happen means how the water is purified so here water purification takes place through the adsorption process means the red color solution which we have added into the water stick to the surface of activated charcoal means the activated charcoal completely adsorb all the red color on its surface that's why during filtration activated charcoal and the red color which is now adhere or you can say stick to the surface of activated charcoal remain on the filter paper inside the funnel and in the lower side means the filtrate which is collecting in the beaker means the water is now pure that means no red impurities is now present in the water now after the complete filtration you can see the purified water and this water is now completely clear and transparent and because on adding the charcoal red color adds on the surface of activated charcoal and the water become pure other example of the adsorption like adsorption of water on the surface of silica gel so this is the example of adsorption process so this is the explanation of the adsorption process with life practical example now next let's know about the absorption process so what is absorption absorption means when the particle soak into the bulk of other phase means absorption involve mass transfer into the another material means in the absorption process ions atoms or the molecules of any substance pass into the another substance substance which is called bulky phase means which may be either liquid or solid materials so when the atoms or the molecules of the substance enter inside the bulky material then this process is called absorption so what is the basic difference between adsorption and absorption process in the adsorption process the particle remain on the surface means stick on the surface only but in the absorption atoms of the molecules enter inside the other substance so here you can see through the animation that the red color atoms or the molecule enter inside the other substance the substance which is a bulky material so this process is called absorption some of the familiar example of the absorption process when we soak the sponge in the water means water soaked inside the sponge means absorption process takes place here the water enter inside the sponge other example is the paper towel or the tissue paper uh, which absorb the water means penetrate inside the paper other example of the absorption is when the cell of our body absorb water and the nutrients from the surrounding means when we eat food then the nutrients present in the food material absorb from the intestine into the blood stream means enter in the blood from the intestine 
and from the blood nutrients get distributed into the different parts of the body and then enter inside the cell means absorb inside the cell through the different process like diffusion means in the absorption process diffusion dissolution process is involved in the absorption process gas or the liquid particle enter you can say soak absorb inside the solid without any molecular force but in the adsorption process intermolecular force is involved through this force molecule get stick means adsorb on the surface of adsorbent so to understand the absorption process here we have taken the live example here in the bowl we have taken grams chickpeas and in the second bowl we have taken almond and in the third bowl we have taken fig which is called anjir in hindi and green gram bean means which is called moong dal in hindi so here we have taken small quantity of almond and then transfer all this material into one bowl and after this we are adding sufficient quantity of water so that all the material get sufficiently dip inside the water keep it aside means keep this bowl aside for few hours here we have kept this bowl for 4 hour and and after 4 hours you can see that all the material which we have dipped into the water get swelled means sizes get increased means almond fig green pea chickpeas all this material get swell and why all this material get swell after soaking this in water for 4 hours because water which is present in the bowl this water get penetrate means enter inside this material means here the absorption process takes place in the right side bowl we have taken all the same material which is just soaked in the water and here we have taken just to compare the substance before absorption and after absorption of the water first here you can see that and compare the size of anjir before and after absorption of the water similarly we can compare the almond size before absorbing the water before absorbing the water means in the original side in the right hand and after soaking into the water for 4 hours in the left hand you can see the almond swell and become soft after absorbing water again you can see and easily compare the size of chickpea chickpea is very small in size in the left hand and after absorbing water the size of the chickpea is get increased means chickpea swell by absorbing the water so this is all about the adsorption and the absorption process thank you very much for watching this video